with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing in a rematch for the unified WBA, WBC, and Ring Magazine Super Lightweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance, and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Barclays Center in Brooklyn, it's showtime! Garcia says he always starts slow. He says, I start slow, but I'm not cold. Morales, in their first fight, the big weapon he was able to use effectively was the jab. He out-jabbed uh, Garcia, but the rest of it didn't go his way. Danny Garcia felt that he let Eric Morales off the hook a little bit the last round, the last fight, because he didn't pressure him enough. And he said, I was my first championship fight. I was fighting him down in Houston where he had a lot of fans and I, I maybe just didn't focus enough to do that. Morales just not doing much. Looked to counter there and miss twice and takes three punches. Oh, nice, nice little blur punches he had there. Overhand right for Morales. Well, just a great crowd here at the Barclay Center. Good right hand. Both men landing excellent rights and good body punches. So this fight heating up already. Much faster pace. You can hit Danny Garcia with the right hand. Amir Khan did it often. But it's hard to discourage him. <laughs> well, good body shot. So far in this fight, Morales uh, has not really thrown a lot of jabs. There he throws one. Clearly, Garcia the quicker of the two. Oh, nice oh, left right hand on. slipped in by Morales. So there you go. <laughs> you know your stuff. Yeah, you know. Good body shot. Morales just right now is a stationary target. Takes a right hand. And again, putting himself in a position where he's not in the center of the ring, but that's the straight right hand. Yep. Good right to the body. Yeah, it sure was. Good body from Danny. Final 10 seconds. Working the body well from yeah. Garcia. Why not? Good strategy with the guy who had to lose some weight. See if he can take the steam out of it. so far. Good body shot. Another good right to the body from Garcia. And another left to the body. Oh, and another right to the body. And again, Garcia, it's just a case of Garcia outquicking Morales so far. Danny Garcia is listening to his father, who certainly understood that that's the key to winning this fight early, and Garcia's doing it. Yeah, he came upstairs with the left hand of the head, too. Especially given the fact that the second half of his last fight with Danny Garcia was not a good run for him. So for the beginning to be this dismal, not a good sign for him. Now, same thing in his mind. Yes. Yeah. Great counter. Swelling already, also under the right eye of Morales, so. Uh, so far, this is just not the Eric Morales that we've seen. No, no good news for him. Good right hand. Sure was that hurt. Morales, Morales is in big trouble at the bell. And big trouble as he stumbles back to his corner. In fact, he stumbles back to, to Garcia's corner. Yeah. And he outlanded Morales by four punches and the power punches in the last round, but the most important was that right hand. And I'm not sure Morales' legs are all the way back yet. No, no, but Morales is backing up, which is not something we see Eric do. And again, you saw that right hand, and that sort of stopped him. Let's bring in Joe Cortez. Our what is referee uh, Benji Estevez going to be looking at here? Well, Benji's looking right now at the condition of the uh, of Morales because he was wobbled pretty bad. All right, thanks. That's the voice of Joe Cortez. 
Hall of Fame referee on hand to keep us honest about all things. And it's important for Benji Estevez to be in the right position to be able to stop this fight, to make sure he is close enough and that he's ready in case it does have to happen with this 36-year-old getting pounded. Not at that point yet, clearly. Four punch combination ended with a right hand. Danny Garcia's doing, oh my. Just a brilliant shot. Knocks Morales through the ropes. And the trainer got in the ring. Okay. And it's over, y'all. That's it, just like that. So the king is dead, long live the king. champion, Eric Morales. At the end of the round, Garcia, who had really set the plate up for this with the body work, using the jab and the straight right hand. That's excellent work by Danny Garcia. And when he throws combinations, Garcia is a very effective fighter. And we'll take yet another look at it. This is Danny Garcia at his best. When he's a wild puncher and not throwing combinations, sometimes he doesn't look like a champion. But when he does this, Danny Garcia looks every bit the part of a 140 pounder who's at the top of the food We chain. look at how he set up the left hook. Just as good a punch as Danny Garcia can throw. And he has great power in the left hand. And it was one of the best he's thrown. It was thrown with great uh, it was, it was a short, compact left hook. It really wasn't that wide a punch. And uh, Morales will lower his right hand here as he starts, I believe, to throw a jab. Yes, he lowers the right hand and gets nailed with a perfect left hook by Danny Garcia. Sometimes Garcia throws wide left hooks. Not that time. It was perfect, and it was too much for the 36-year-old Morales, who was already showing signs of wearing down in this fight. Yeah, no question about it. Just, I mean, that's about as good as it gets. Yeah, that's... that's well, time does pass by, uh, unfortunately, for Eric Morales, but what a great warrior through the years. Again, turned pro 1993. His resume is incredible to look through it, and we appreciate his years and years of warriorship in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 23 seconds in round number 4. Our referee in charge, Benji Esteves, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout. Still undefeated and still the WBA, WBC and Ring Magazine Super Lightweight Champion of the World, Danny Swift Garcia. Well, I think Swift was the operable word tonight.